Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. So today I want to do another chat time. And as the title suggests, I want to talk about three things. Drone registration in the UK, the Mavic Mini, and no fly zones. The last two are going to come together somewhat. So what I want to know is, are you going to register? Who out there is going to register? I want to know in the comments if you're going to register and if you're not, why not? So the drone registration schemes come out. Um, do I think it's right? No. Do I think it need, if they need a drone registration scheme? Absolutely. But not the way they've done it. The way they've done it to tax. I, I personally am all right at the minute because I'm covered under FPV UK. So because I'm insured with them and I'm part of that group, I'm covered for now until whatever changes over the next few months. But it is going to change, obviously. I don't agree with certain things because I don't agree with the law the way it is. So you can still go out and buy a death trap of a toy drone, like a Bayang Toys X28, I think it was. I did a review of it a long time ago. The thing's bloody dangerous. It's under 250 grams. It flies like nothing I've ever seen before. And the toilet bowl's that bad. It's a dangerous toy. It's under 250 grams, but you can go out and buy that. I'm not saying the 200, I don't think the 250 gram thing's right. And I do think we need some kind of registration. I would have registered anyway, I'll be totally honest with you, because I'm not intending not flying during the winter because I fly all the time and I can get some superb shots, uh, video footage when it's cold and you've got a bit of snow and ice on the ground. So to me, I would have registered anyway, but because I'm part of FPV UK, it doesn't apply to me at the minute. If you've not joined FPV UK, you don't know what it is, it's an insurance service, it covers you up to £5 million indemnity and everybody should have some kind of insurance when they're flying and for £19.99 I don't think it's a brainer, it's a no brainer to me. So I'm not going into all the details of this because it's just crazy, it's crazy what they've done but I want to know do you agree with the legislation and what would you have done differently, what could you think we could do better? So that's, the, that's all I want to talk about that. I'm not going into depth with it. I'm not saying it's the worst thing in the world or the best thing ever. I just think it's a mess. So the Mavic Mini was obviously premiered last week and it's coming out on the 11th, I believe it is. Uh, I've ordered a Mavic Mini and I've ordered a Mavic Mini for two reasons. One is DJI, so I know it's going to fly well. And two, because I wanted to review it. I wanted to see what it was like. The weirdest thing is, I've read so much on Facebook and all the rest of it about this drone's this, this drone's that. No one actually, we don't know what it's going to be yet. There's a lot of people saying it's just another DJI drone, it's not going to be any better than a Spark. Well, I'll be honest with you, it should be better than Spark. It's going to be an in-between. You are not buying a Premier, Premier drone. You're buying something that goes in between the DJI Spark and the Mavic Air. It's not Mavic Air replacement. It, why, and a lot of people are saying, well, they should have made it 4K. Would you have made it 4K if you were in that company? You're never going to sell a Mavic Air again if you'd have made that 4K. Have they got the capabilities to do 4K? Absolutely, I imagine it has. It doesn't have follow me mode. I don't use follow me mode anyway. And from what I've seen on the video this morning that I watched, it has got no fly zones. Which brings me to the next bit of the chat. I'm going to try and keep this brief. No fly zones are the biggest bone of contention I hear out there. But this is a strange thing. I get comments from people and emails and stuff saying, well, I think the sport should be made, the hobby should be made a lot safer than it is, but I don't agree with no fly zones. Mm. Can't have one way out the other. If you're going to have no fly zones and DJI put them in there, don't buy a DJI drone. Because if you don't agree with them, however, I agree with no fly zones 100%. Don't care if you're going to hate me for that, but I absolutely agree with them. You shouldn't fly near airports, you shouldn't fly near sports stadiums or anything like that. I fly, as you know, pushing the boundaries. You've seen my videos, I do not fly 300 metres away. I fly a lot further than that away. If you're a line of sight flyer, you're going to be absolutely fine with it. So you're not going to be bothered about the no-fly zones anyway. But to put the no-fly, to say no-fly zones are spoiling the hobby, I just don't agree with that. I think you can buy drones that are not DJI that has that. Having said that, and then going back to the Mavic Mini, I told you these two are connected. The Mavic Mini I bought because it's DJI. And if you're thinking I'm a DJI fanboy, I'm a, well, I don't know. I like DJI products. And this is the reason why. I, I've owned them all. I've had a Phantom 1, Phantom FE40, Phantom 2, 
I've had a lot of Phantom 2, they used to have about 6 of them at one time, we all different kit on. Phantom 3 Advanced, Phantom 3 Standard, Phantom 3 Pro. I've then had the Phantom 4, Phantom 4 Advanced, Phantom 4 Pro, and now I've got, and I've obviously got the Mavics. I've owned them all, not once, not even in the early days of the Phantom 1, which wasn't that great, to be fair, never ever thought anything was going to fly away on me. They've always compass calibrated the way they should have done. I've had the only flyaways I've had with the Femi XATSE. Do I trust that drone? Never. I'd never trust that drone again. I think it's a great, I like it, it flies well and it gives me good footage. But I'm never going to, I'd never ever want to fly that over 500 meters away from me again because I just don't trust the drone. The only other drone that's ever flown away with me was a Bug 3 but that was totally my fault. And that wasn't GPS, it was just a normal drone. So they're the only two things, and they want DJI, so I believe DJI, to me anyway, and that's my, it's in my opinion, I think DJI drones fly really, really well. The one thing they've got going for them is they can fly well. The one thing a lot of people hate is the fact it's no fly zones, constant update. Well, wouldn't you rather have updates and leave it like a piece of junk that doesn't fly properly? Had a Parrot and Affe, I liked it, really did like it, I haven't got it anymore. The reason I haven't got it anymore was I was selling my drones off, but I was going to keep it. But then you go on the Facebook groups and the amount of people that have got a problem with that drone flyaways dropping out of the sky because the battery's gone flat, even though it's not. Did it put me off? Yeah, it did. It put me off and it's the reason I want to sell the drone. So it's the reason I think the DJI Mini will be great. Will it be the replacement for everything? Will it be the biggest drone that's going to sell out there? Because it's under 250 grams. Well, I think you need to be careful of that because I believe the next update we have will definitely be something to do with 250 grams. And if it's got a camera in front of it and it can film, no matter what weight it is, I believe you will have to register that drone. So the 249 gram drone, now you don't have to register, I believe you will soon. Whether you agree with that or not, I don't know. But that's the difference to me. So the 249 gram in this country I believe will change but they've obviously done that for a reason. It's 249 but if you put top guys on it's obviously over 249 grams. So where you stand with that legally I don't know. So this is a quick video. So can you please leave comments down below and tell me what you think of the drone registration screen? Do you think the Mavic Mini is a waste of money and it's going to be useless or it's going to be great? And what do you think snow fly zones? I know some people aren't going to agree with what I'm saying. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to get you lot to talk to me about it and let's see if we can, I can come up with some kind of opinion that people have on no fly zones. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.